Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with CruiseChipsTV.com. Are you heading out on a princess cruise? If you're watching this video, chances are maybe you are, or maybe you just love cruising with princess and this sounds fun. We love doing pack with me style videos, but today we decided to take it to another level and to create a princess cruises packing list just for you. So maybe you're a visual person, but at the end of the day, you like to go look at a list We've got you covered because we put a princess cruise packing list on our website just for you and it's linked in the description and pinned to the top of the comments so you can shop this video and read all about the different types of things that you might want to pack from stateroom accessories, stateroom essentials, to toiletries, to clothing, and even some specific things that you might want to take on your princess cruise like your medallion and accessories. So it's all listed out for you so you can refer to that. So here's how we're going to do this packing list video today. We're focusing on a warm weather cruise destination. So we're actually going to Japan in summer, but we want you to know that this packing list in this pack with me video will be super help, helpful for you. If you're going anywhere, warm weather could work for the Caribbean, Mexico, Asia, possibly even the Mediterranean in the summer months. So this is a warm weather Princess Cruises packing list. Also have a special surprise for you today. We have a discount code on this beautiful level eight luggage today. Uh, we have worked with level eight for so long. We have road tested their suitcases. We have cruise tested them. <laughs> we have flight tested them. So today they're sponsoring our video and giving you a special discount code, which is also down in the description. You can either buy off of their website and use the discount or you can buy on Amazon. No discount code if you buy on Amazon, but they do have some great prices there and some great selections. So we're going to be packing into three suitcases. The first one is new to me. This is the beautiful Grace suitcase and we chose the color champagne, but there are other colors available. And the reason I love this suitcase is because it actually is expandable. Not all of the level eight suitcases are expandable, but this one has an expansion zipper in case you are flying to a destination that allows you to expand your suitcase, or maybe you're just using this as a personal item and the airline doesn't mind. It also has a laptop compartment in the front. So I'm really excited to try out the Grace. The next suitcase that we're going to be packing into today is called the Glitter Carry-On. I love the Glitter Carry-On because it's really super lightweight. This one is not expandable. And guess what? It's not really glittery. <laughs> it doesn't shimmer at all. I'm not sure why it's called the Glitter, but it's just a very beautiful, subtle white. So I would say this is good for ladies and gentlemen. It's not glittery at all. It's just a really nice, compact hard side with amazing spinner wheels I and mean, one of the commonalities with all of these suitcases is really that they have these incredible spinner wheels when my husband takes them to the airport he's always like gliding through the airport and saying my gosh these wheels are so amazing so you you just have to try it to believe it they're super slick now don't leave them on an incline because they're so effective that they'll roll down a hill right but they're great this is actually the textured carry-on in a beautiful color of olive green i think it's olive green or pickle green or something like that again it comes in lots of colors but these are the three that we're focusing on today and even though we're going to be doing a carry-on only packing video that does not mean that we think that you need to do a carry-on only packing video. It's just how we choose to travel because we don't like baggage carousels. We don't want our stuff to get lost. So that's why we're doing it. But we love the suitcases and we hope that you do too. And if you stay to the end, you can see them kind of laid out and packed, which is kind of fun. All right, so let's talk about what is in our bags. We're gonna kind of do a live packing list here. We're gonna start with our personal items or our kind of our carry-on bags for the flights because I think that's a good, always a good place to start. I'm doing two different bags, one for me and one for my son, and my husband is going to be taking a camera bag. We're not showing the camera bag, it's boring, it just has cameras in it. But for our carry-ons, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's in these. And I also um, will put these uh, bags in our Amazon shopping list too because they're really nice and very affordable. So first up, in one of the uh, carry-on bags, we have a tech a travel tech accessory organizer. These are awesome and they house everything from our headphones to our SD cards. 
we've got, um, gosh, we've got our watch charger in here, extra charging bricks, and soon my mouse for my computer is gonna go right up here. So this is really nice and will live in our carry-on bag for the duration of this trip. Also being packed because this is an international flight, I'm taking a foot sling. A foot sling allows you to kind of you hang this from your tray table, this part of it right here. And then if you're a little bit shorter or you want to kind of give yourself the feeling of being reclined, you just place your feet on this and it gives you this nice kind of rested feeling of being reclined. I'm also taking a scarf with me. This is a nice warm one that I just found on Amazon. It comes in over a dozen colors and I'm probably gonna go back and get more, but this could be used as a neck pillow you could wrap it around yourself as a shawl, a blanket. It's so nice. I'm also taking a travel backpack with me. Again, all of this stuff is gonna be linked and really easy to find. We have our luggage tags in here for our bags. I don't put these on for the flight because I don't want them to get ripped off during the flight. I have some snacks in here. And then we've got our little medication bag. I like packing in these miniature kind of fancy Ziploc bags. I think they're just fun, but they're kind of um, opaque, so you don't necessarily have to see everything that's in them. So I have an assortment of different medications in here, everything from Band-Aids to pain reliever. I have pain reliever for my son. We've got butterfly closures. We've got cold medicine if we were to need it, emergency packets, extra chapstick, anything and everything that we would have in our personal medicine cabinet, a small quantity of it in here. And then I have, I've decided to pack my makeup and my vitamins in a clear TSA bag just so I can simply see through them. I have this cool little pill case in here and then most of my makeup, it's not all in there just yet. And then we have two TSA liquid bags, which you always wanna make sure you check your airlines policy before you fly with these because some countries will confiscate or make you switch into their little baggies. So please be aware, but I like these. And that is what we use to, um, to get through security in the US. Then of course we have sunglasses for the whole family. And then over here I have some fuzzy socks and a travel water bottle. A travel water bottle that's hot and cold is always so nice so that you could have some hot coffee, some cold water. I like one that works for both. So that's kind of how I do that. So that's carry-on bag number one. Now for carry-on bag number two, because again, there's three of us traveling. So two of these are gonna be packed with essentials for the flight. And my husband's going to have his as a camera bag. I've got a little folder in this one for paperwork. This has like our shore excursion printouts and our itinerary, things like that. We also have a wall mount itinerary that you can actually print off. Let me show you what that looks like. You can actually print one of these, customize it for yourself. I'll link to it in that packing article and in the description of this video. And then I like to laminate mine and put them up on the wall so that I can see where I'm going the next day. I can see my times and port, all of that. It's something I really like to do. Also in this bag, some more flight essentials. I have some Lysol wipes for the flight and some wet ones to kind of keep us clean because we have a very long 13 hour flight. And I also have a glove here because these um, Clorox or Lysol wipes are very strong and I don't want my hands to get all you know, chemical covered. So I pack a glove and I put these in a Ziploc bag because they actually tend to leak at high altitude. So if you're traveling high altitude, you might wanna put your, your Clorox wipes in a Ziploc bag. This is a universal phone mount, just in case we end up on a flight where the seatback entertainment gets a little boring and I wanna mount my phone and watch my Netflix downloads or my Amazon Prime or listen to music or read on my Kindle app. I can mount my phone to the back of the seat in front of me, rotate this puppy 360 degrees, and we will be good to go. In here, I also have a hoodie for my son, and I have a hanging toiletry bag. We actually got a new hanging toiletry bag. Those of you who have seen my e-bags classic placket, pla uh, let's try that again. Those of you who've seen my e-bags classic packet flat, try saying that three times, you know that it sometimes sells out. So I found this kind of dupe 
and it's really similar. It's very nice and flat. I'm still trying to decide if I want this in my personal item or if it's gonna go in one of those carry-ons, but just look how much this holds. In here, I have deodorant, combs, razors, nail files, floss, hair accessories, baby powder, cotton balls, all the little things, all the little toiletry things that we could possibly need. So that, I think, pretty much wraps up just about everything that's in this bag. The other one thing you can't see that's kind of jammed down in the corner is I have a travel neck pillow um, because this is, again, it's a super long international flight. It's the only time I'll ever travel with a neck pillow. I think they're usually a waste of space and I don't usually use them, but we are going to be traveling with those. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that this is a princess cruise. So of course we are traveling with our princess medallions. Now, I have to tell you, we only got ours about 10 days before our cruise. And I know that medallion shipment policies are changing a little bit. So check with your travel agent or with Princess on sort of the timing for that. But they come in this handy little box. They have the new, I love this tagline on them. And of course they have your loyalty level or whatever you've designed your medallion to look like right on there and they're so fun. Now I also ordered for the first time a new medallion accessory. I got the necklace. I have the bracelet, I have the watch bands, I have the clips, I have everything, but I realized I've never tried the necklace. So you're gonna have to get over to Instagram and Facebook and I'll post some photos of this with my medallion in it when I get on the ship and I'll let you know how I like it, but isn't it so pretty? I think it was maybe $35 or so, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're also packing a brand new USB hub for this cruise. As you can see, this is a relatively small USB hub. These days, the cruise lines tend to confiscate power strips more and more. So we decided to go with something very low profile, very small, that is just simply USB related. So I'm excited about that. I have another little stateroom essentials bag that I'm taking. And inside this, I have a travel hamper. So a very small pop-up travel hamper. These are wonderful for keeping your stateroom organized. I also packed some travel binoculars. Binoculars are a fantastic thing to take with you on a cruise where you're gonna have some scenery and you might wanna check things out. I also pack sticky notes. These are actually the kind that stick onto the wall um, kind of fully, it's interesting. They're large and they're very sticky. So I have that and a Sharpie in case we need to leave a note for our stateroom attendant. And of course I brought all of my classic old medallion accessories because I'm going to reuse them. We love all of these medallion accessories. There's lots of medallion accessories that you can buy on Amazon too. We found probably five or six different types. I found one that goes onto your Apple Watch band. There's one that sticks onto your phone. So what we've done is we've made a little store, uh, substore on our Amazon shop and it's called Princess Medallion Accessories. And we'll link to that so you can go shop unique, um, uh, like, you know, medallion accessories there too. The only other thing I wanted to highlight that I popped in here were a couple of magnets to put things on your stateroom walls. These are really great. I only packed two. I'm trying to keep it light for this cruise and we're going carry on only. So I really didn't want to pack so much stuff. So I kind of had to lighten it up just a little bit there. But those are some of our stateroom essentials for this particular cruise. All right, so we've talked about what's in our carry on. We've talked about our medallions and accessories. We've talked about our stateroom essentials. Now at the end, I want you to know, I am going to show you all of our shoes. I'm also gonna show you some of my husband's clothes, but now we're getting closer to the time when I want to show you my clothes. I just realized there was one thing I forgot to show you, and that was this jewelry roll. This jewelry roll is from a company called Bag Smart. They sell on Amazon and I can fit a lot of stuff in here. I've got my bracelets around these little bracelet, bla bleh, bracelet rolls. So many tongue twisters today. <laughs> I've got my earrings in here. I have necklaces inside of these little bags and I have more necklaces in here. So I can get a whole lot of stuff in that and I really love these. Only downside is this one doesn't have a hanger on it, but that's okay. I can just pop it in a drawer. All right, 
So now I'm gonna give you a quick look at some of the clothes that I am packing for this princess cruise. Now, most of the clothes that I'm taking are from Amazon and they are shoppable. We have a cruise fashion store for men and women and we have items in there for you. So let's bring these on over and I'm going to be showing you a much closer look at especially at the Amazon favorites that we are packing for this one. Really quickly, I didn't show you everything we're taking for my son, but he got this little suit at Target about a year ago, and I think I can get one more wear out of it. So that's my son's formal night clothes. And now for my Amazon attire, which I will post photos of me wearing these on Instagram and Facebook once I take real on the cruise ship live from the ship photos. But this is a brand new one shoulder dress that I just got in the mail yesterday from Amazon. It was a little blousey in the middle, so I decided to pack a belt to wear with it. And because the weather is going to be so hot, I really like this option. So there's one awesome Amazon find. Another one is this cozy shorts romper with pockets, you guys. This runs a little big, so do not size up. I got a small, I usually wear about a medium. Really cute, comes in longer styles as well. But if you look really, really closely on this, it almost looks like it has cherry blossoms on it. And I thought that was so cute for a cruise to Japan. Also, absolutely love these light, flowy tunics from Amazon. They come in dozens of colors. And this aqua color just really works well for me. Speaking of cherry blossoms, I found this very lightweight jacket. This is really the only jacket type item that I'm taking on this cruise because it's expected to be like 90 degrees every day. But this is so pretty and I just thought, kind of match the destination. So pair it with a tank top and some jeans or shorts and I thought that was kind of fun. Another new Amazon find is this floor length, very soft and flowy maxi dress. It runs a little bit long, but it's super comfortable. This can be worn on your morning coffee runs or to casual dinners. This could even be great on a flight. You could see it being really, really cozy on a flight. Just a few more Amazon things for you. Another one shoulder dress from Amazon. This is a midi dress. As you can see, it has one puff sleeve and goes off the shoulder here. And then it's kind of a tiered dress. So we'll see how this one works out. I haven't worn this one on a cruise before. I'm a little curious to see. Last Amazon item that I am taking is this little kind of, it's almost like a swimsuit cover up, but I think this would also look cute with a sweater over top for again, those morning coffee runs or warmer shore excursion days. I'm also taking uh, some swimwear on this cruise. I got this swimsuit at Target and I bought this cover up, gosh, well over a year ago at Macy's. And I am taking this fanny pack from Amazon, which I will link to. Also bought several really cute blouses from Old Navy. These are recent finds at Old Navy. I do not have a link, but if you run over to Old Navy, you might be able to catch them. And last item from Amazon is one more romper. So it's this cute cotton romper that's hiding behind this sweater. Very comfortable. Again, morning coffee runs, flight, easy shore excursion day. And that's pretty much it for my attire. I bought this dress at shopavara.com. I do not have a link, but it's beautiful. I think it's called the Marin, and I'm excited to try that one out. And I am taking a little crossbody from Amazon too, and a baseball hat. So those are just some of the clothing essentials that I'm going to be taking. I gotta see if I can get all of this in my bags. So some of it might not make the cut, but we're certainly going to try. I'm going to give preference, I think, to you know, the items that are really lightweight and easy to pack. I do wanna show you quickly when I roll these back over, I wanna just show you some of the packing cubes that we're taking kind of at a distance. Mr. Cruise Tips TV always packs into the exact same packing cubes. He uses the e-bags, medium, set of three in teal, he never changes, and he always gets all his stuff into these. So these are his packing cubes. I am using the Begale very lightweight compression bags in green flower. These are pretty. And Junior is going with some Begale kind of thicker neutral packing cubes on this cruise. So packing cubes are just a wonderful way to kind of get everything organized. And then once you get to your cruise cabin, you can just slide those packing cubes onto the shelves 
And since they're all different colors, you know whose stuff is whose. It's really great. All right, so now I want to show you a quick look at Mr. Cruise Tips TV's clothes. We went ahead and filmed a little B-roll of this, and I wanna show you some of these awesome items that he got on Amazon. He got a couple pair of slacks. He has them in gray and black. And of course, he's taking a casual belt and a little bit more of a formal night belt. So he's taking a few pairs of slacks and then quite a few different shirts that they, we were able to find on Amazon. He's got a couple of polo shirts that come in like a nice moisture wicking fabric and a few other more dressy shirts for the evening. So quick look at some of the items that he is taking. And again, heavy emphasis on being able to buy this stuff on Amazon just because it's so easy to find your size, right? And he just loves being able to get things at a good value and not have to go shopping. Some people just do not love going shopping. So that's a quick look at his. Now I wanna give you just a really quick look at our bags fully packed and our shoes. I'm actually going to say goodbye before we do that because I want you guys to stick around and just kind of watch as we, as we kind of phase out. But first of all, I'd like to hear from you. Are you going on a princess cruise? Where are you going? Is there anything that I missed? I know I didn't show you guys my underwear, my bras, and my socks. I promise it's all in there, but almost on every video, people are like, where's your underwear, your bras, and your socks? <laughs> Let's take a quick look as we roll you guys out of the video at the uh, different items. And while we're doing that, I want you to jump into the comments, tell me where you're going on your princess cruise and what you are packing. Be sure to check out our packing list as well at cruisetipstv.com and linked down below. Happy princess cruising friends. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.